in 2014, I got invited randomly to uh, go to Alaska with the Full Moon Girls. And I just got this phone call from Leanne Pelosi saying like, hey, we got a, a seat open in the heli. Um, I remember you mentioning like that you really were enthralled with Alaska and wanted to go. Like, would you want to go? And I was like, absolutely. Like, tell me when and where and I'll be there. Like, I can pack right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm in. Alaska is such a special place and I had no idea what it was going to be like and being able to go on this trip and experience these big mountains and just the rawness of what snowboarding could be um, really changed my perspective on what was possible. When we were going up to Alaska for the full moon trip, we didn't have our full crew so we had a couple extra spots. and. We wanted to kind of get some of the younger younger riders in the scene and and her name and Jamie's name came up and I was just like, dude, Elena would be great up there. Like put her in on the on the list for people that might be able to come and it just worked out that she was able to come and we just had such a good time and I think she was just such a good part of that crew. Like we all we all got along so great and we're just stoked to be up there and and she was just down. Elena didn't necessarily know any better, so she's just like, yeah, okay, I'll jump out here, or I'll ride this line, or just, she was down. It was an eye-opening experience for her and for all of us. Like, we're like, oh crap, like the young guns are better than we thought they'd be. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was cool, and it was just such a fun trip, and yeah, that was, that was a special trip. So it was really special to have her along for that ride. Everyone was just like, holy smokes, like Elena is like on fire. Like, I think because of her surf background too, she just has like such good style in her turns and like no doubt being a pipe rider like gives you really good edge control. So I remember all of us like riding the shoulder of different spines and she dropped in and uh, I was at the bottom looking up and it was just like so graceful, so beautiful, like perfect turns laid out. And I remember Leanne like turned to me, she's like, damn, like Elena is on point. And we're just like hooting and hollering at the bottom. And you know, Elena's like so humble and chill. She's like, ah, I don't know. I'm like, ah, that was okay. I'm like, that was fucking awesome. Like, you're amazing. I'm struggling a little bit with the puzzle. <laughs> I had never snowboarded with her. I'd only met her one other time. And so that was um, what she had signed up for, unbeknownst to her, was one of, um, was probably my most ambitious, self-supported foot power trip that I'd ever done. Uh, and the goal was to um, traverse the, the Sierra from east to west, uh, over a 10 day period. And to do that and to be uh, self-sufficient means you're carrying huge amounts of weight and um, you know, just living out in these remote mountains. There's no, um, you know, as soon as you get a drainage back, it's like you're really uh, out there and, and to get, you know, if something did go wrong, you're, you know, you're in a really bad situation. So. She didn't really know what she was signing up for, but that is what she signed up for. When Jeremy suggested her, we were like, I mean, she has no backcountry experience. He's like, nope. Um, I was like, I think she'll be able to hang. And he was like, yep, I do think so. And, and so, you know, he kind of went, <laughs> he went out on a limb, I think. Um, but, you know, Jer Jeremy is seeking people that, love snowboarding and I think he desires to turn them on to his kind of version of snowboarding in this day and age and you know Jeremy thought it was a pretty burly trip and they were doing some big days and Elena just sort of never faltered she's just like yep good good let's go keep rolling and <laughs> I think he was sort of like huh I wonder, like, have I not really been pushing it that hard? Like, here's this rookie, and she's just coming in and hanging and crushing. So 
I think it was, you know, pretty apparent that she had the chops to, to be out there. It's a really pretty badass situation. You know, she'd maybe splitboard a handful of times in Tahoe. She'd never had crampons on her feet. She'd never had held an ice axe. And she just came in there. I mean, the first line we did was one of the most serious lines in the, in the Sierra. And we got um, long couloirs, probably a, almost a 3,000 foot couloir. And it pinches like three quarters of the way up. And then, um, and then up, from there, you're in a no-fall zone. So, meaning, you know, if you were to fall up high, you were gonna get, like, pushed through this choke and who knows what would happen. And so I'm climbing with her and, and it's like serious climbing. We're on the front of our crampon points, we're using our axes and and I'm just like, you good, you good? She's like, no problem, no problem. And same deal, like, dropping in. I'm like, you know, this is a no-fall zone. Like, we're far out here. and. She just comes down and makes it look so easy and then proceeded to do that for the rest of the trip. And my buddies and I, who I've been all over the place with, who were like, you know, this was a hard trip. We were beat every day. We'd be like, God, she doesn't even look like she's tired. Um, and we thought we were like these hard men and what have you. And here's Elena just smiling. And she just always has a smile on and everything's always good. And I'm like, man, like I am freaked out right now. And you're just like seemingly not. And so she definitely has this like, I don't know, like where she never shows stress, never shows fear. Um, and so I'm always like, that mother, you know, I'll get her every once in a while and be like, come on, admit it, that was hard, or you weren't scared a little bit, or what have you. She, you know, she's just incredibly uh, sturdy in the mountains and, and just has this unwavering positivity in the mountains, which is why I've, she's become one of my favorite people to, to do these, um, these tougher expeditions where success is a maybe and a great example of that would be this last Alaska trip where, you know, whoa, sorry, cats, hold on. Hi. She finally got to go make that movie with Jeremy Jones. And from that day on, that's all she's wanted to do now is be in the, in the mountains. When you see some of the movies where she's standing there and it's, Alaska on top of some peak and it's just some shoot and you're just going, oh my God. And then she jumps off and does really well. As a parent, it's like, it's a little jittery, you know, even more so than the pipe, I think.